Subject and predicate. Tip. Japanese sentences may have a subject or a topic, but they must have a predicate. The subject is followed by the particle ga and the topic by the particle wa. The predicate is the core of the Japanese sentence. It comes at the end and it must be a verb or a verbal form. In Japanese, a verbal form may be a noun plus a copula, like the English is or are, or a verbal adjective. Let's take a look at some examples of that. We begin with John san wa nihongo hanashimasu. John, Japanese, speaks. In other words, John speaks Japanese. Our subject or topic is John san wa. Our predicate is hanashimasu. This is also the verb of the sentence. Next we have Tanaka san wa nihonjin desu. Mr. Tanaka, Japanese, is. In other words, Mr. Tanaka is Japanese. Our subject or topic is Tanaka san wa. And our predicate is Nihonjin desu. Here we have an example of a noun plus a copula. The noun being Nihonjin and our copula being this. Next we have Kudamono wa takai desu. The fruit is expensive. Our subject or topic is Kudamono wa and our predicate is takai desu. Here we have an example of a verbal adjective sentence. Now, in addition to the subject or topic, there may of course be other elements in the sentence, object, indirect object, adverb, and so forth. They come before the predicate and are not considered part of it. Two principles hold true for word order in a Japanese sentence. The predicate must come at the end of the sentence, and a particle must immediately follow the word or words it marks. Other than this, word order is not so rigid. The subject or topic usually comes first, although an adverb of time may precede it or follow it. Expressions of time usually precede expressions of place. Most modifiers precede the words they modify. For example, Kare wa mainichi uchi de shinbun o takusan yomimasu. He, every day, home, at, newspapers, many, reads. In other words, he reads many newspapers at home every day. These children, Japanese, are. In other words, these children are Japanese. Shinbun ga teburu no ue ni arimasu. Newspaper, table, here we have our possessive particle, top, on, there is. In other words, the newspaper is on top of the table. I just want to quickly go over the apostrophe s, obviously a possessive. The word for a possessive or showing possession in Japanese is no. In this case, it's marking that it's on top of the table or belonging on top of the table. Today, John from to will go. In other words, today John will go from Tokyo to Kyoto. She, bookstore, at, book, bought. In other words, she bought a book at the bookstore.
With the question, the word order is the same. As you know now, the particle ka at the end of the sentence makes a statement into a question. For example, Kanojo wa honyo de hono kaimashita ka? Did she buy a book at the bookstore? If a question uses a question word, for example, when, who, or what, etc., it normally comes after the subject or topic, but this is not rigid. Let's look at some examples of that. Kanojo wa itsu honya de hono kaimashita ka? When did she buy a book at the bookstore? Kanojo wa naze honya de hono kaimashita ka? Why did she buy a book at the bookstore? Tare ga honya de hono kaimashita ka? Who bought a book at the bookstore? それはどんな本ですか? What kind of book is it? 